Shout out to Black Royalty Films, everybody in Durham, Slash City, Slash, the whole state doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, it's E-Town, stay up. I'm thanking God for everything I see, gas is going up, my niggas so is we, this far my niggas born in 93, we bout to change the game cause it's way and see, 93 Supreme, 93 Supreme. For the people who don't know who you are, let them know, and tell them where you from. Ronnie Wright from Durham, North Carolina, Southside. Uh, Alright, so when you start rapping? When I started rapping in, probably say, summer going into my 11th grade year of high school, we were always, you know, freestyling with your homies and like, whatnot. But, uh, like, I ain't taking it serious until that summer going into 11th grade of high school. That's when I started rapping. Cool, cool. So what made you start rapping? Like, what made you take it serious? Start wanting to take it serious as a career? Man, I realized I was too short to play basketball. <laughs> I started. I always knew I was good at spin. I made it made it easy rhyming. So then I just figured I'm gonna take it serious. My homeboy had a, a studio in his room. So that whole summer I was just over there spitting with him. I realized I got good. Dropped my first mixtape. It was over from there. Okay, so for the people who don't know, what was the name of the first tape? First ever mixtape uh, called Finally Legal. So how did you think it was like when it finally finished? Like, yeah, was you I, proud of yourself or whatever? When I finished it, when I had first finished the mixtape, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was a shit. But now, I look back on it and compared to what I did back then, my rhymes had got so much better. But when I first dropped it, I really felt like it was something that I can remember. And it still is something I yeah. can, like, hold dearly to this day. Like, all the lyrical content is still tight, even, back, even way back then. Oh. Gotta start somewhere. Here we go. All right. So, um, what was the one after that? You just dropped the second one too, right? Um, my second one, uh, Ride Meets World. Mm -hmm. and that one, that one's the one that really caught everybody, like I, like around the city. Um, it'd be times where I would just be in the store and a random person walk up to me, I wouldn't even know who they is, and they'll tap me on my shoulder like, "Hey, uh, you the dude that dropped that mixtape?" Like Ride Meets World, I'd be like, "Yeah, and they tell me it's hot." So yeah, the second one, Ride Meets World. That's the one that really got the got my name was in the city. So. so what was your um favorite songs on there? For if people who don't know the ones they can go look at by name. Mm, favorite songs, probably Get Money, Much Love, Situation, 93 Supreme, uh, and the actual song Rob Me's World, the last track, mm -hmm. that's probably my favorites. It's kind of like sums up the whole tape. Yeah, basically. What was uh, some of the people's favorites, the fan favorites? Uh, 93 Supreme. Yeah, everybody like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, situations. Mm. Get Money. Basically, all, all my favorite songs, all my favorite songs was like a lot of songs that everybody liked. You got some like Vibe. A lot of people like Vibe. What else? What else? I think that's really it. I think the. the most the most liked song of mine so far uh, is 93 Supreme. That's the one that got everybody here. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that go hard. So uh, who who like helped you make it? Like help produce uh, both tapes? Um, usually I find most of my beats off YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk to the guys that do the beat. I send them an email. Or I send them like a tweet on Twitter or something. Let them know I'm using their beat for a promo. I ain't get no money off of it. But if I do get something off of it, I'll you know I'll be sure to break them off of it like a slice. But uh. I usually do most of my music when it comes out to it myself, or I got help from my team. You know, I keep my I try to keep my circle small. You know, but, uh, yeah. When it comes down to it, the music is mostly me and whoever you know I'm getting getting the beats from. So you you and the crew too, right? Speak about that a little bit. Yeah, um, my crew P O nine, probably the nineties. Just a young group of kids, um, individuals out of Durham, just trying to do something different. You got people that you got people like me that do music. You got people that do graphic design. You got people that do a lot of different stuff. You got a few of the, um, people in the group that's still in school mm -hmm. and trying to focus on like getting their degrees. And it's really just a group of like individual talents. And it's just showing that you got more than one way of getting out, getting out your city. 
Oh, uh, so name name a few people that's uh, involved with it. Uh, you got me, you know, my man Meshack, uh, Arthur, my boy Ronald, uh, my homie Greg, my homie Fat Dre, and my homie Tez. That's really, that's really good. That sums up the whole group right there. Okay, so um, kind of staying on that topic, what do you think about the North Carolina music scene right now? Man, I'm loving it. Like, you got, you got a lot of people that's on the come up, not even just from the city, like from all over. Uh, of course, J. Cole doing his thing. You got people like De Niro, Farrar, uh, Smiley Face. Yeah, I wanted fun, she was looking for love She always wanted real niggas But wasted time with them little punks She throwing the shots back like the lean was punched I'm blowing nose, just having fun Red bottom heels, but she don't stun She'd rather wear at joint tight kicks or something Now she in my ears with her fantasies All she needed was me and weed But time that blunt, I told her at your speed Now I done fucked up, cause she hiding me My mind ain't where it need to be